بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد As a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam ayu ala habba is I wanted to quickly remind myself and you as well about the importance of avoiding backbiting and that backbiting, backbiting one another is a major sin and it's so easy for us to fall into backbiting no matter how many times even I speak about backbiting I find myself or maybe a brother will, will check me and say Akhi be careful maybe you're backbiting so and so and so backbiting is a very serious sin and it's something that is very subtle and creeps upon you that sometimes you you may mean good by something but then the shaitan creeps or your desires or what have you and distorts your intention and allow and, and pushes you towards speaking about others and maybe exposing other sins or not even their sins but speaking about them in a way that would displease them and may Allah forgive us of our many sins Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem ya ayyuhalladhina amanu ya ayyuhalladhina amanu attaqu Allah wa kunu ma'a sadiqeen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-tawbah O you who believe addressing the believers fear Allah Fearing Allah means doing His commandments and avoiding His prohibitions. Ittaqullaha wa kunu ma'asadiqeen. Fear Allah and be of the truthful one. So we should be truthful in our speech and avoid lying. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says with regards to the issue at hand which is ghibah, speaking, slandering and backbiting people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem wala yaghtab ba'dukum ba'da ayuhibbu ahadukum an ya'kul lahma akhihi maytan fakarahtumuhu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem and do not backbite one another would you like would one of you like to eat the flesh of his dead brother verily you would hate it or verily they would hate it Letting us know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes the example of the one who backbites others. It makes a similitude between that and eating the, the dead flesh of someone. And of course, none of us are into necrophilia, uh, 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 to this wicked habit of eating the dead. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ or having any relations with the dead. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes uh, 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 likens that backbiting is similar, a similarity between that and eating the, the flesh of your dead brother. Which it means that it's something deplorable. It's a deplorable and wicked sin. So as an advice and a reminder for myself first and foremost. And then for others, avoid backbiting. Watch what you say about your brothers and sisters and about others that might not even be your brothers and sisters, but watch what you say about others. Caution your tongue because it's easy to talk about someone else's situation and avoid your own situation. To talk about someone else's shortcomings and avoid your shortcomings. And may Allah forgive us of that and protect us from that. And we ask Allah the Almighty to forgive us of our many sins and bless us with ikhlas, with the bat ala sunnah, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.